welcome. We are uh, Blind Fluke Studios from Zurich and I'm Moritz. Hi, I'm Jeremy. Welcome from the brand new First Strike Blind Fluke Studio. Studio 2, actually. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we are here to show you the new First Strike multiplayer version, which can, will come out on the 3rd of November. And I'm Moritz Zumbühl, I'm the CEO, uh, co-founder together with Jeremy of the studio. And Jeremy is the principal game designer here at uh, Blind Flux Studio, the artistic director. So um, I would like to say first a few words. Uh, just thank you to everybody who's supporting First Strike since seven and a half years, something like that. It's almost Even eight more, by this point. Boy. I like to say a special thank you to this bastard here because he was uh, so uh, quiet, uh, kind to join me on that ride and he kind of designed the first version of First Strike almost more than eight years ago, which is kind of crazy. Uh, you, you remember the times when there were old, slow smartphones? <laughs> And uh, yeah, the iPad was basically one year old or a half year old or something like that. So thank you to the best team of the world who made this possible, who uh, wrote First Track from scratch since last, wow, something like November or December. Thank you to the best comm team who built up this uh, um, studio, uh, who made the whole communications ready, who bombards you uh, uh, in, uh, on social media. Uh, Nicolo, can you please close the window? Uh, and um, uh, yeah. Um, Thanks to the church for all the bells and whistles. Um, <laughs> Thank you for that. We can, we, you can see the prof professionality here. Um, no, it's, it's a new studio, but we're really excited. I don't think it has ever looked that good when we did a stream. I hope you guys agree. Um, yeah. So mass, nuclear mass starts at 7 in Zurich uh, <laughs> on Sunday from now on, every Sunday on 7. No, I'm joking. So what we are going to do today is, uh, first, Jeremy is going to explain you what's new in First Strike or what will be new in First Strike. Then we're going to play the official first match um, of First Strike against each other. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, what's there, uh, how, it, how it feels. Um, how it looks, you're gonna see it for the first time. Um, it's still first track, it's not really, really different, but it's fun because you can nuke your friends. And at the end of that, we are going to answer some FAQ, some questions we had from you already from social media. And then we're going to play a match against some of our fans from our Discord server. So uh, next time, if you wanna be in a first track round with us, you really, really need to join the Discord server to be uh, able to um, uh, snatch one of these seats to play against us. Yeah, shout out to the Discord. I mean, uh, truth be told, one of the most exciting things about the launch of this um, update has actually been announcing it in the Discord and having like this stream of comments for uh, several minutes of people being hyped. You're awesome. <laughs> this was just so cool. So just to give you a little bit of perspective, we're launching here a mobile game and uh, we are super, super happy that you show up that uh, many uh, and you're interested in it. that old game and we're still loving to make that and uh, we had a lot of fun to develop that new version. It was not that easy, it took us a long time and we invested uh, almost a half a year in the full team. This year for us as Blind Fluke Studio is it's a huge investment and really we did it because you wanted that. And uh, we know as a lot of you Android users were a little bit, <clears throat> how should I say, let's say it how it is, pissed because we released Stellar Commanders only on iOS, but we had to. I mean, that were the rules of Apple Arcade. We love Apple, we loved the, the ability to be there on Apple Arcade. So we had to rethink the whole first track thing and we just did it again, basically. Uh, and yeah, um, uh, this is here now and it's here for everybody. It's gonna be free, uh, it's gonna be on mobile and yeah, why not? Um, shall, we, shall we do a first look or do you wanna add something to my No, that's Robin? all right. Let's jump, uh, jump in. All right, then uh, Jeremy, uh, it would be very cool if you could show us basics of uh, First Strike uh, multiplayer version. So, welcome to the new First Strike version. Um, as some of you might have seen, it has gotten a bit of a facelift. 
Now, this is still pretty much the first strike version um, you uh, got, to, um, got to love over the years. It just got its new paint in this teal and pink that we also teased a bit for a while now with the new icon uh, ever since First Art Classic came out. The free version got this new blue icon and we kind of thought like, hey, we want to do this again here in the app as well. So if you're going here on Start Game, that is still um, what you're used to in First Strike. You're selecting your nuclear superpower, you're selecting uh, your super weapons and then you would um, select uh, your daily challenges if you, um, or your modifiers that come out of the daily challenges if uh, you collected them. So that is all the same. However, that's not what we're talking about here. Uh, the interesting part of course here is now the new function on the top, which is multiplayer. So if we're going in multiplayer, um, it will connect uh, to the first strike multiplayer uh, um, server connection hub. Um, you will be prompted to have a login for this one. Um, there, you have either the choice of doing your own login with an email address or using Google authentication or Apple authentication um, to get in there. Now, once you are here, um, you can either just go quick play to find a running game. Now, currently there is no game running, of course. Uh, because uh, we're still in our test system right now. Um, you could join uh, somebody uh, if you have a code from the lobby or you could host yourself. If you choose to host yourself, um, this is what you will see. So here um, we have... Uh, uh, here we, we have the usual um, lobbying for first strike so there's up to 10 people who can play around the first strike against each other um, there's three options that you have like before um, you can of course select who you would like to be playing as um, now all the superpowers are unlocked from the start so your progress from single player does not matter in selecting where you want to go um, so I, for example, I'm going to go with China here. And now what you can also choose is um, what type of super weapons you would like. Same rules apply here. All the super weapons are here. And in this menu, you are going to select two that you would like. Now in multiplayer, the choice of your super weapon is going to be more important than ever. Because as you could imagine, um, yeah, the AI uh, sometimes deals with certain super weapons more or less well, or is very easily fooled. However, a well-placed infiltrator, a solar laser or a, a Tsar uh, can make a huge difference in a multiplayer match. And likewise, um, uh, the Iron Defense Dome, for example, has become, at least in our internal playtests, a very powerful super weapon to have because as you can imagine first strikes are one of the most deadliest things uh, that could be happening. Um, then uh, there's one more option here that you can see right next to the invite code and how your lobby is looking like and that is the mode selection. Now you have three choices here. Um, I know most of you always asks us to just give you first strike and that is what you're getting here that is first strike and i don't need to tell you that first strike will be a very very different game when you're playing north korea or when we, you are playing israel <laughs> or and you're playing iran than if you are russia the us brazil so don't don't write us afterwards like this is an imbalanced game yes this is real world politics this is as imbalanced as it gets um, I will congratulate everybody who's going to win as Iran. Okay? Oh, you will congratulate me if I win as Iran? Oh, yes. I, I, will, I, will, I need I will, to know that. Uh, I will personally down, leave right. this room and give you the full stage if you win as Iran. All right. right. <laughs> Jack, just, you, you know, you heard that. So, uh, everybody from Discord, please let me win as Iran afterwards <laughs> against Jeremy. <laughs> However, there's two new options you have here. Um, one is called Balanced Start. 
Now, balance start is a modifier. Um, it is ba it is a modifier that is only playable in multiplayer. So How we are the hell introducing... did you balance nuclear war? Well, first of all, you give everybody just one nation. Um... So even huge territories like Russia, US, they only have the capital to start as. So um, basically, they... it's castrated uh, uh, superpowers. Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, imagine a Cold War where Russia would be the size of Germany. And, okay. have and one the US nuke. as well. I mean, and the Indiana. US as well. And have one nuke. <laughs> okay, have everybody one has nuke. one nuke. And everybody has one nuke, yes. And also, the, that's also the, there's the no technology difference. I mean, I, that is... I think you solved the problem of the atomic bomb. Uh, if every super, uh, super power would have just one bomb... Listen, we're, we're going to play first strike multiplier in, in, in a second. I, I, I will tell you there's no peace going to be <laughs> happening on that globe, even Let's with a balanced start. Let's nuke some friends. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I interrupted you. No, it's all ba good. Balance so, modifier. So this, this is like the first standard balancing modifier. No tech for everybody, one nation for everybody, and uh, anything else? No. Ah, yes, permanent destruction. So. Um, some of you might remember that there's the, um, the daily challenge modifier that permanently destroys all nations. Now this one does the same, but only after the second hit. And that's really important. So what we found out during the playtests is we had a lot of games where basically the game would not end because people just kept expanding and everything. So here we say, okay, you can take a hit and you can reclaim a country once. And afterwards, it's going to be permanently destroyed. And I guarantee you, this is going to change the dynamics a lot. So we know that you know that from single player, actually. Yeah. I mean, th there it, uh, there's a modifier that uh, destroys on one hit. Yeah, Here but it's, it's new. It's pretty new. It came out in uh, April or in, in yeah, the yeah. last update. So no, exactly. exactly. Uh, the old fans know it from the old uh, multiplayer. So we changed that for multiplayer so you kind of can kill your friends. However, only in the balancing modifier. So if you're playing classic mode, it's still like normal first strike. So, so classic mode is the hardcore mode, the yeah. never-ending nuclear war. The never-ending nuclear five. war where like China and Russia and where everybody's fighting and in the end, Australia wins. That is oh, just right. so, how it so usually So we should call it the Australia mode? <laughs> There's also something a bit of a middle ground that we also want to introduce because, you know, some of you might think, okay, that's not fun if um, everybody's kind of not their usual size. So there's another balancing modifier called small state support. This one is a bit more complicated as in every nation that never had eight countries gets a massive boost to expansion, to research. Um, so they can quickly expand, quickly become bigger and basically don't get nuked into oblivion right away. However, if they ever grow above eight, they will never get that bonus again. So even smaller nations, smaller superpowers like Israel, Iran, that I talked about, also to a certain degree, Kazakhstan, India, they have you know, some time to actually, actually get some territory and then the war really starts. Now for this showcase, I mean, we're just gonna go into the classic mode real quick. So uh, Moritz, why don't you join in? I just had an idea. If I turn you in now for a game and you're a real sportsman, I would say you choose North Korea as a start and I start as Iran. And then at least I have a chance to win against you as Iran. What about that? <laughs> I mean, you have to know... Chad, what a terrible uh, we negotiation. Know, we here. have to know, we, are, we agreed originally to play, I mean, the classic nuclear war scenario, <laughs> USA versus... Um, uh, Russia, but I think just you just brought me up with the idea. Why not uh, join them? All right, I start. Uh, join I join you. Um, uh, what is the code? Um, the code is two one uh, two seven one eight eight two. Two seven one eight eight two. Yeah. All right. Let me join the game. Is that you? Oh, are you new here? I'm Nuria. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, Nuria. Okay, 20 seconds. No, no, no. To select I what you play. want. I <laughs> so, what did you want? So, uh, I am North Korea, you said. Where is North Korea? Kazakhstan, North Korea. Okay. Where is Iran? Here we go. There we go. Excellent. So, we got it. Thank you, my friend. I highly appreciate that. All right. 
So, what's the funniest thing that happened to you during playtest, Jeremy? You think there's fun in playtests? You should talk to <laughs> with our tester. There's yeah, no fun in testing. There is no fun. I, sometimes <laughs> I heard some screams and some shouting. Yeah. And I, I also, we almost got a kind of, how should I say, uh, um, yeah, a big fight here because um, someone was disappointed of a, of a, you know, when I played the first round, they immediately killed me. The intern immediately killed me. And I, I mean, I mean, I was like, what? Yeah, well, they are good. Now, they, there's yeah, actually, the interns they, are too good. I, they, I totally there is agree. One, there is one thing that I can think of uh, that actually was hilarious. Um, what, Hillary? No. Um, so during the, the playtesting, it actually came out that we never really removed keyboard support from the game. Oh. So uh, there was an internal war of different teams going on uh, whether keyboard support should stay or should go out. Uh, in I the was end, not included in that discussion, so never ask me uh, 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 why it's not there. Always no, you, ask can, the you, team. Can, you can freely blame me. I opted for keyboard support being out of the game because it's an unfair advantage for people with Bluetooth keyboards. Much to the dismay of Niccolo, who cried about it for days and then formed an opposition, so to speak of. I was, uh, I was surprised there wasn't a walk out in protest. Uh, All right, sorry, I forgot to show myself also in the camera. But you know how I look. Uh, anyway. Yeah, you're, you're just screen sniping me. I mean, so, I know how it uh, is. Jeremy and I usually don't take a look at the stream uh, chat, sorry. Uh, Nuria is observing that for us. Please write us in the chat what we should kind of run for the strategy. I'm kind of very passive. Like always, Iran always does. I just do my signs. Don't expand at all, and uh, yeah, really, Jeremy, what's your strategy? Oh, I will just, you know, world peace sounds good. Uh, I now debuilt all Korea? my yeah, yeah, yeah. I debuilt all my nukes. I think um, there's there's no war gonna happen here. <laughs> I wouldn't know why. <laughs> you are lying, lying like I am lying. I already see your border. All right. <laughs> Uh, oy, 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 that escalated quickly. Uh, <laughs> that escal Did you? Oh, we forgot something to say. And um, the one who loses has to kiss one of our frames here, one of these pictures. So we have Einstein, Gandhi, Stalin, Harry S. Truman, and Kim Il Jung. Um, what? Who, who will you kiss if you lose? You know, I, I really dig. Uh... Our Kim Jong Un here, there with the send nukes uh, meme. I think it's it's incredibly cute, and he's a bit, you know, he's a bit of a poor loser in this whole uh, thing going on here. So, yeah, I might opt to uh, to give him give him a little kiss uh, to make it all better. Why the heck do you already have? Do you not invest in any uh, technology? No. Huh? Why should I? No, 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 wrong button! No, no. I, don't, I don't know why you should. Uh, it's a terrible idea. Okay, okay. Hey, uh, let me please just give. Nah, no, stop it, Jeremy, stop it! You know what one of the most important parts of First Strike is? No. If, if you no. are in the no. offensive, the other person always has to react. That is very nice, you know? Uh. Yes, I feel uh, I just say, I just, oh, I just knew to say I love you. No, 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 no. I'm really, really bad in nuclear war. I just realized you had a lot of play tests. I didn't have a lot of plates. I had to kind of pay the invoices and run the business while you were playing and, and just training for this moment. <laughs> I thought you were so confident. I was very confident. My strategy was perfect. I really wanted to it? lure you into a kind of expanding game. I have absolutely no chance. Hey. Oh. All right. Okay. Um, so, so your strategy was basically you're going to tell that me there's it. nothing going to happen. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I had no training. That's, that's uh, I mean, that's very real world politics of you. <laughs> yes. So we just saw the basic scenario. Oh, I, who will you kiss? I will kiss uh, Josef Stalin. I already I said mean, I'm going to do Kim Jong-un. Are you going to do a Kim Jong-un? Okay, I'm going to kiss. So you will see me kissing Stalin and... Ah, oh. okay, yeah, I guess it is. Mm, finish me off, please. 
that it mm. would that would be sad. Yeah, it was the first match. So I'm I'm really I'm banking now on the others from the Discord server. Join the Discord server. Did we tell you? Join the Discord server. I'm really banking on the other ones. Please yeah, in the, eliminate. In the, long, in the long run, you did the proper choice because the winner of a match never wins the next match <laughs> because everybody gangs up on that person. Now I just want to tell to the Discord server. I know. I mean, it might be tempting to nuke me, and I understand that. <laughs> However, if I lose, uh, you wouldn't see anything anymore in the stream, and that would well, be sad. They can keep me alive. Yeah, but that's not fun. Keeping me alive is not fun? Yeah. I mean, come on, roast you uh, is... Yeah, I wouldn't say that's... Uh, all right. I have two countries left. You're only in Europe? No, you're, you're still here sitting in Asia with me. You're lying. Yeah, there, uh, exactly these. Why did you... Uh... All right, all right, let me see. Tension is coming up. Uh, we are kind of concentrating. All right. At least I had some hit. It would be so, what? It would be so embarrassing. What? First strike? No! Ah, oh, look at these monsters coming to me from North Korea, presented with love. Oh, no, that's, that's not, oh, it's okay. It's, it's <laughs> from North Korea <laughs> with love? Oh, is that a, all right, is all right, right. I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting hammered. Oh. Um. I guess that's it. So sad. Do we have a sad music, Jun? That no, we can play we, we into the footage? Have, uh, we don't have so sad music. Yeah, so I guess that's this it for Paris. This is the end, my friend. There we go. Wait, you still have something? Where are you yes. sitting? Ah, down there. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, okay. I'm giving up. Officially. Um, well, then you do wanna that. kill me or should I give up? <laughs> I don't care. You're, you're gonna he die either way. He doesn't care. You can die okay, I'm either kissing way. Stalin now. Officially, it's sorry, Josef. And uh, I give up. So I guess you were way, 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 way better than me, huh? We only had three billion casualties. That's okay. That's okay. I guess we left uh, the whole South hemisphere of America alive. <laughs> and to our surprise... The Americas were like the surprise victors <laughs> of this whole endeavor. To our surprise also, USA guys, I guess, didn't get uh, uh, roasted. All right. Mm -hmm. Seven hours, uh, seven minutes. Seven minutes is a pretty fast uh, game. Congratulations. Okay. I really... Um, I hope Josef is, uh, has had fun. I guess Josef is really, really <laughs> disappointed. But you're going to get a... Um, Mean white. No, I mean, it's gonna be, oh. Anyways, uh, is the FHQ now? Or yes, is we that... are way too fast for uh, uh, our I schedule. I mean, we're gonna have more games. Uh, we're gonna have more games. I'm going to get my ass kicked more, okay? Whew. Uh, so, okay, FAQ, uh, we got a lot of questions from you uh, on social media platforms and we are trying um, uh, to answer uh, some of them, ooh, I can't kind of uh, scroll here um, with my uh, pointer. Mm, that's interesting. So I don't see the questions. And so Jeremy, you need to tell a joke because I'm going to bring them up on my computer. Sure. Um, does it have to be a joke about nukes? No. <laughs> you can tell anything fun from the development uh, of First Strike or okay, something Okay, more else. stuff that was fun in development. So, um, hmm. You know, this is probably now where, where the illusion just dies because game development is not as much fun as some of you might think. It's uh, it's more oh. like a lot of testing and bugs, especially if you're doing something multiplayer. We have a fun question from the chat, by the oh, way. Oh, really? They, they ask if I fired the intern who killed me in the first match. <laughs> Do you want to answer that? Because it's a sad story. Yeah, I mean, the, pr the problem is then you would have to test the game. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody He's wants on probation. <laughs> He, he's, I don't know if he makes it until the end, but uh, it's really, I mean, it's uh, quite a tricky idea <laughs> to kill the boss in the first match. I mean, I have feelings too. You need, you need to pamper your friends, that's why he let me win. 
Anyways, so questions, where are they? Questions, here they are. Um, so we play the first round. Multiplayer when? So again, the game gets released on the 3rd of November. The 3rd. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 11. Yes. 2021, this year. Yes, it's pretty soon. It's in about two and a half weeks. Yeah, pretty much. It's, uh, and the thing is, it's going to be an update. Um, so, free, uh, the free version of First Strike, that's just called First Strike, for iOS and Android will be, uh, get a free update on that day. That means for all of you, um, the multiplayer is just unlocked. And that's it. You, you saw it in the, in the main menu, it's going to show up there and then you can play. So, really important again, it's coming on the 3rd of November 2021. Somewhere around midnight. Depending on the time zone you are, uh, basically depending on the time zone you are in the App Store settings, it's going to show up around uh, midnight and you can play. The servers are up before. Um, we have a lot of players, uh, so we are hopeful that we have full lobbies. Uh, you can join, you can invite your friends, it's, it's free. So, do I have to pay is the next, is the next question. No, in the beginning you don't have to pay anything. Uh, you oh, most likely will never have to pay to play against your friends. We start with just a free update. Um, somehow we will have to monetize that, but we don't know how. Uh, everything you saw in the stream before is going to be free on the 3rd of November. We like to test that with you. We like to get your feedback. We like to get as many friends of you into the game and then we will see how we continue. We have, honestly, we don't have any idea how we are going to monetize. Then there is another question that, of course, immediately popped up on the Discord. And that is the question, well, what about First Strike Classic? So, First Strike, the free version is going to get this uptight. First Strike Classic will not. First Strike Classic is intended to stay the old classic First Strike. So, the one where you pay a few bucks and then you're playing First Strike in single player however you want. The free version of First Strike is the one where we now actually want to try new cool things with it. And you saw that in the daily challenges, you saw that in the other updates we're doing, and now the multiplayer is like the biggest step we're doing here. So we want to do more with the free version of First Strike, and it's only going to happen in the free version of First Strike. Excellent, thank you. Um, uh, again, we have a QA at the end of the stream. Um, uh, and um, uh, there we will be open to answer just, uh, questions just from the chat. Uh, do you want to answer, please, the next question? What is the next Private question? games, one friend and AI <laughs> possible, or yes okay. or none? Uh, so yeah, you can, you can play with your friends. As you've seen right now, um, you can open a lobby and then you can set that to private. By default, every lobby that you open up will be a public lobby. So it's going to be filled with random people from the internet and hopefully really fast. I mean, we don't know yet, but we will see. But if you just want to play with some friends, you set that lobby to private, then you have that code. If you click that code, you will get some share op options so you can send a message to your friends or you can just copy paste the code however you want to them and then uh, they can uh, join your game. Uh, if you leave the lobby public, there's also an important thing to say that there's going to be an auto start. So after a few minutes, this lobby will start a game no matter what, because we don't want public lobbies that are just idling for hours and nobody and the host is not starting the game. Uh, we don't want that. So, um, but if you set it private, it's going to stay there until you're happy with your friends being there and then you can start it up. There's no AI currently. So if you want to play against the AI, you have to go into single player. There's no multiplayer AI as of yet for First Strike. Good, thank you. Uh, and how do co friends connect uh, in First Strike? How do you find the lobby of your friend in First Strike? So there's a pretty easy friend code. I mean, you've seen that I just basically told Moritz the code to the lobby a few seconds ago. As I said, there's some share options for that as well. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, so we wanted to make a really simple system uh, that makes it really easy. That also works very much cross-platform. So it doesn't matter if your friends are also on iOS or also on Android. They can be either operating system and then you can play against each other. Cool. That yeah. was the basic, basically QA at the moment. Um, and I think it's time to show you a match with some more players than just us together. Oh 
uh, again, uh, Discord server, you know what your task is now, bump, bump him away. Um, <laughs> if you bump me away, there's going to be no more footage. I told no, you. We so. have a request. Um, we have no spectator <laughs> mode at the moment. So, um, yeah, it's cheating. We know that. Uh, but we beg you not to kill us immediately, please, because then the live stream will have no footage. So uh, it's actually the opposite way, opposite way around. So Jeremy and I should stay alive as long as possible. Mm -hmm. And that will just be more fun for the other ones. Otherwise, we're just gonna quit the game <coughs> and so then continue. The, the, the room is now open. Uh, we have four and a half minutes left um, for it. I can also set it private if I need to, but right now you should find it with, um, quick, um, with the quick search. Else, if you're having troubles, the code is 381313. Oh, I need to select something, actually. <laughs> oh shit, the so race for to, the superpowers <laughs> starts. To make it for you a little bit easy, uh, a little bit harder not to kill me, I'm going to start as North Korea. Don't kill North Korea, all right? He still has uh, hopes and dreams. I have hopes from our community, yes. That's, that's actually, uh, that's true. Uh, I really, really hope that you don't kill me. So don't kill North Korea. <laughs> He's going to be mad and I'm going to be very mad. And the stream is going to be mad and everybody's going to meet. Don't kill North Korea, okay? All right. Okay, everybody come in, come in. We have four. We had Walter in here uh, a bit before. Hopefully he can join again. <laughs> we'll leave this open for. So you the play moment. as Predil. You really want to stay uh, happy and. Uh... Hey, it, it's nice weather. I mean, mm. uh, good people. I, I changed to Australia. I guess it's better to be Australian. <laughs> Australia has actually been kind of the meta. Uh, so if if uh, if you know Nuria, <laughs> our uh, head of marketing and community management, she just regularly doesn't say a word, being there as Australia, and in the end she wins the game. That is kind of the blind fluke meta. Too powerful. Uh, that's uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> actually when we tested the streaming equipment. I mean, she killed me like in two minutes or yeah, something yeah. like that. She's mean. She's mean. Doesn't say anything and then suddenly you're that, dead. That's why I play with her account, so she gets downgraded. <laughs> it's kind of just being sure that everybody is uh, in the uh, yeah in the right scale. Uh, we could answer a question until we start. So, uh, who loves nuclear war? No, Walter is here in South Africa. Jordan is here playing as Russia. Uh, Nicola is here playing as United States. Nuria, that's me, is playing as Australia. <laughs> and Jeremy is playing as Brazil. Yep. I'm ready. Dum, dum, dum. Do we have any ideas of future for merchandise? That's an excellent question. Um, yes, uh, we plan uh, to produce uh, a custom-made Trident rocket, which you can shoot from your garden. Um, uh, it's in pink. It's going to cost around two million US dollars. Uh, um, and uh, no, uh, I'm just joking. Uh, yes, we have some plans, uh, but we don't share it or don't, uh, at the moment. I'm sorry. Uh, we will get some new stuff, or we will get new stuff. Someone promised to give us five stars in ratings in the Google Play as, long as, as soon as multiplayer comes up. Hey guys, honestly, that's the only reason why we made uh, um, the multiplayer. It's just because of this blackmailing from uh, changing the ratings to five stars. No, I'm joking. That's very cool. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Will you add submarines in the future? <laughs> I think we uh, answer that question later. Okay, the game starts. 
in three, two, one, go. Dum, 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 dum. Um, do you remember what was the main goal? It was to kill Brazil and let. Oh, I actually didn't Astra Astra uh, put in a balancing modifier. I'm an idiot. You did not include the balancing? Yes. No, you're not an idiot. It's just, it's actually weekend. Ah, well, next round. Also, we benefit from if the rounds take forever. Yeah. Um... I mean... It's quiet, huh? It's well, really, what do you want? really quiet. A joke or something? Then tell us a joke. I'm not... What? But Russia is already... Yeah, Russia is high in the tech tree. Russia is nuking me as Australia. <laughs> Chat. I, didn't I tell you you will lose sides of the game if you nuke me? And it's... Who, who was? Who was Russia? Russia, you're on the bad list now. Uh, Jeremy is really concentrating. I see he's very afraid of, of kind of um, losing uh, uh, or getting nuked uh, uh, um, in the hmm. second round immediately. Okay, I really need to concentrate. Again, tell me if I need to do something else as a strategy. Mm. Will Norsk be added as a language? Do you, will you do a translation? Then I will, we will add you. Uh, we will add it. But if you don't do a translation, I don't think we will add it, honestly. Because the player base is not that big in this language. Not yet. I don't know. I guess you love... Uh, nuclear war as well up there, but uh, uh, I mean, at the moment, uh, you need to bring a lot of friends to kind of actually uh, give us a reason to translate it to Norsk. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's always the same. It, uh, the countries who have a lot of nukes are also the ones who love First Strike the most. Yes. <laughs> so Switzerland has not that many uh, fans in First Strike, actually. I don't know, Swiss people are maybe way too peaceful, huh? Jeremy, what? Why are you, are you not talking to me? Sorry, what did you say? Why are you not talking to me? Well, because you're not saying something interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. Also, I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a first time streamer, you know? No, that's not true. We did uh, quite a yeah, bunch of okay, these streams okay. already. Uh, now the big land grabbing phase is in full effect. Look at South Africa, it's insane. Insane. I don't see South Africa yet. I play as uh, Australia. Sure. I will nuke kangaroos as a test setting. Um, oh, I missed. What's that, Thailand here? I guess. All right. So why is this round so peaceful? Because that's usually what happens, in, for in especially in, in the normal first strike. Like people are just researching, stocking up, uh, and waiting for somebody to do the first move. Okay. I mean, you know how it uh, how it works, right? I mean, uh, ah, uh, Russia, Russia is does the first you. strike against you. Yeah, apparently. It's. I guess it's just a little show off of love here. It was just a friendly. Actually, hey, do you like my nukes? Actually, South Africa protected me really well. Thanks. 
I think this is this is the start of a wonderful friendship. I mean, we have much in common, you know, Southern Hemisphere, good buddies. Can I join the club? <laughs> well, yeah, technically you're also Southern Hemisphere, so I guess we need uh, to uh, get uh, rid of Ru what? Oh, so, someone oh, is. It's also Russia no, attacking I, no, you. No, huh? I pressed the wrong button. I debuilt it in, instead. I, sh I wanted to attack. Stupid. I'm so stupid. All right. Okay. Um, mm, what now? Knowledge is power. Will we add spectating and ra ranking system into the game? Maybe. I mean, the thing is, um, as, as we always said, we want to try stuff out with um, this version of First Strike. So we can't tell you right now what the next things will be that are going to happen. It also kind of depends on how it's going. You know, I, how much are people playing this multiplayer version now? Are they playing it once or are they playing it like every week? Stuff like that will have a massive impact on where we're going with this. And I mean, that's one of the most, uh, or the coolest things about First Strike. There's so many people every day um, finding First Strike new, um, trying it out, trying to figure out uh, whether they like it or not. So we can really try to find out what moves you all. So that's uh, actually, you still want to answer questions? So should we chit chat with me or do you want to kind of help me to destroy the other ones? We can kind well, of form an alliance between us. Well, I mean, uh, June uh, kind of attacked everybody so far. So, and he's also, oh, yeah? uh, he has the highest uh, tech uh, level of everybody, I think. So, so that June may... is what? Real Russia. Did, let's, okay, you everybody, hear... let's nuke him, okay? <laughs> They, didn't you I knew him from the south, you know him from the west, we knew him from everywhere. La 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 la. Goodbye. Very welcome. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't kill me. The stream is over if you kill me. Ah! <laughs> no. Don't do that. Ah! Oh. Again, uh, I'm sorry, that's a wild gone intern again, I guess. Yeah, someone, oh, oh all right, okay. No, that's good, it's good, it's good, it's getting better. Whew. Brazil is researching the Tsar, and um, what do you do with the Tsar, my friend? Well, who knows, I mean, I, I heard the Tsar belongs to somebody. Can I help you with the Tsar? <laughs> <laughs> well, research your own Tsar, man. <laughs> Oh, I this didn't... is my Tsar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my Tsar. Can we do My Tsar is your Tsar and your Tsar is my Tsar? No. Is that a song? <laughs> your Tsar is my Tsar. Yeah, my Tsar is your Tsar. No co sharing of super weapons in First Strike. Don't uh, kind of assume that. So I got a bloody nose, uh, honestly, um, from uh, Russia. Uh, I don't know. And they didn't listen to the orders for the stream. Uh, Australia is almost killed. Did you did you uh, join our kind of Russian uh, punishment uh, punishment? Uh, well, look look at Moscow. That wasn't you. That was you. Of course, that was me. You're green. I'm green. I am. Well, uh, look I am how Brazil. big he's going to be. Wow, he's, he's became. Not he's going to be. How big? You own almost the half of the world, my friend. Well. I, I told you, I mean, it's hard to argue with Brazil, right? I mean, good spirit, good food, great, uh, great fruits. Uh, there's so much uh, to be said about Brazil. Half of my family lives there. I uh, totally agree. But I mean, sometimes I would love to nuke them once or twice sure. uh, a week. Uh, but yeah, uh, anyway. Uh-huh. Where is it going? <laughs> where? where? Um, I'm, I'm clearly... Oh, that's going to you. Okay. I'm what? Yeah, it, it killed... It. Oh, no! Stop! <laughs> ah, man! Oh, no defense. Ooh, there goes Melbourne. Oh. Yes, I think uh, I'm not um, going... Is that actually you? Why no. is South Africa kind of... Um, helping Russia. What, what's the connection there? You don't know each other. Well, do they? It's basically, it's not fair, okay? I was just small. Small country on the side side, south side of the world. Okay. 
Ooh, there, there goes Russia again. So, I don't know why Walter had to... Oi, oi, oi. I guess that's the final... That's determination. <laughs> I'm spectating for the... I'm spectating for the people now. Please don't kill me now. Whoa, okay, it's a, there comes the strike back um, from South Africa to South America. Um, Brazil was punished at its homeland. And Brazil was really, really punished at the kind of the, their... Oh, what a small, beautiful revenge strike. Um, no, good defense that, by South Africa. You're a terrible commentator. I, did, uh, I didn't attack South Africa, I attacked uh, Russia. Yes, but South Africa attacked you back, and I, I don't no, know. No, but I didn't attack uh, yes. Africa. South, South Africa, Africa attacked so you. So they didn't attack me back. No? No. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's actually not attacking back, they, it's attacking. They, eh? they were just so, okay, attacking. Okay, you're angry, I see. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that is the game. Jeremy is angry. Uh, pay attention. Uh, uh. No, my nice uh, Ivory Coast. South Africa. I like the Walter Ivory Coast. Walter is cleaning up uh, the last remains of Jeremy's uh, colony in, in, in South Africa. Uh, in Africa, sorry. Not in South Africa. Oh, my language. Jeremy is getting... He... Uh, so, is Russia still alive? Looks like, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. June is still hanging by, like, he's, he, he, uh, he's uh, being very quiet, like, oh, well, I technically don't exist anymore. Oh, wow, what a defense. So, um... <laughs> 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 That's what happens what when you open your mouth. <laughs> I wanted to show it to the stream. What did I miss? Oh. Ah. Oof, the Kali storm. Oh, do I have anything to defend that? Ah, whatever. Uh, did we miss the Kali storm here? No, no, no. It's 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 uh, in uh, here. We sitting see. there. Yes, I see it. <laughs> there is a question from the chat. Yeah. Why is Jeremy not building cruises, cruise missiles? Ah, because defense is for wusses. No, because I'm terrible at first strike tests. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever won a playtest that we had. Um, like I said, most of the time Nuria won the playtest. So uh, it's, it's all about, you know, it's actually kind of similar to uh, how you would need to play it against the AI. You just need to be a bit quiet and don't look too strong. Kind of look what Moritz is doing right now because he's like, oh, I'm just a, I'm just a... Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Wow, that's a nice defense. Backstabbing from Russia against Yeah, uh, but South perfect Africa. defense, nothing. Perfect defense, nothing. Wow, well played. And here, Russia goes. Wait, that's against bye me? Bye. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, no, it's, in, it's against you. Huh? It's yeah, against... that's what I said. Ah. <laughs> oh, and the beautiful rain of rockets coming back. Woohoo. Uh, something coming through? We don't know. Yes. yes. Bam. Beautiful hit. So let me uh, ask you, uh, uh, um, uh, let me ask you another question from the chat. Sure. So with multiplayer, what will become the research that increased the menu slowdown? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what that? Actually, somebody asked that. No, that was Nuria who fed us this question. Somebody, somebody of you no, even uh, thought of that? Eight to five of that question. <laughs> wow. Hey. Uh, well, well uh, thought out. So, okay, that um, is actually exchanged. So we made a new tech for that one, and it's actually making your missiles faster. 
Um, <laughs> this is actually pretty powerful against... Uh, it's not a much, it's like 20%. So it increases the missile speed of all of your attack missiles, not the defense ones, and also not of the Iron Dome by 20%. So uh, that means you can actually penetrate Iron Domes better if you have that tech, which is pretty massive. Um, there was a kill. Was there? Is Russia done? No, Russia no. still exists. It's still sitting the there. US the US is killed. The US wasn't in the game. United States gave up. Yeah, years ago, actually. Yes. <laughs> years ago in the yeah. nuclear war. Um... Nikola tried real quick to do something against me and then he was like, ah, no, nah, I'm leaving. Then a very random question. I mean, I, I like the question. Uh, do we have any plans with the moon? <laughs> Uh, I, still, I love I the question <laughs> because I always ask Jeremy, do we have an idea? And he always gives me an answer, no. No, that's not true. I always wanted to do something where the moon kind of fires back onto Earth because the moon is so pissed off at all this uh, weirdness happening here. Uh, also, the moon, um, for those not aware, is kind of a bit of a running gag in, at Blindfug anyway. The, our moon is, I think, in every game of Blindfrook Studios because it is a Turbo Squid asset that costs us 25 bucks. So it's the most cost effective 3D asset that we ever had. And Frederick doesn't like that joke one bit. But it's our moon. <laughs> yep, it's our moon. It's a, a, almost our 3D mascot. Now, so, I mean, currently there's nothing planned to be done with the moon, but I really would like to do something with the moon at some point. Either it crashing down, you know, some daily challenge or special mode where the moon is coming closer and closer and it just takes off half of the globe or something like that. That would be cool. So that's an excellent question, Lion247. Thank you. Uh, I like the moon and I like to get the moon into uh, the game, but um, yeah, we will see. So, but, I mean, are we still playing? Yes, we're still <laughs> We're still playing. It's a lot of meta. Um, you see, that's the game without a modifier. It gone and can go. Oh, I don't even. Very, oh no, I wasn't very, very, very long. And look at Jeremy. He's still fighting like crazy. Yeah, but the problem is now it's. Uh, this is the everything is. Oh, it's getting bombed. Single oh. file. I lost my capital again, so I never was able to build the tsar. No tsar. No, no, no tsar. Oh. No tsar. Oh my god. Um, so let me answer more of the questions. <laughs> Russia is also getting annihilated now. While you try to finish that match, let me try to answer more of the questions. Uh, make the moon into a missile. Y Yai Nolon uh, asked this question. What do you think about that? Let the moon sure. crash into the earth? Sure. So if you kind of nuke him the moon from behind, he will kind of crash into the earth? Why not? Maybe. Um, uh, the Beast RB420 thinks it's an excellent idea <laughs> to give you the moon because then they could actually rickroll and make a moon, fake moon landing. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, true. Okay, why not? Off content, uh, but it's an excellent idea. At Blind Fluke Studios too, we could kind of fake the moon landing. Mm, I liked it. The Gigan, uh, I'm Jajan, I'm not sorry, I'm sorry if I spell you a nickname wrongly, but um, do we have any plans for a tent uh, Antarctic though? Um, probably not, because uh, the problem, uh, you can see it on my screen really. Um, the problem with Antarctica was always kind of a UI globe turning problem. Uh, so, I mean, in first strike, you cannot rotate the globe however you want, you can just go to a certain uh, maximum north value, maximum south value, and um, just working with the landmass down here is something that <laughs> even when we did the first first strike version, we found out is not that much fun. There was always the plans of this secret uh, twelfth superpowers, which would be penguins from uh, the Antarctica. Don't tell them. That. Yeah, but I mean, we never did it. So uh, yeah, and there's probably not anything gonna change now that we remastered okay, the okay, game now heavily. We have... There is uh, no three D model anyway to work down here, so we'd have to build it up. We have to tell them now. Uh, so penguin as a nation is going to be an in-app purchase feature that's gonna so, cost you one thousand dollars. <laughs> the golden penguin nation. <laughs> so here we go. I am actually going to oh, give oh. this one up 
No, Walter? wait a moment. Yeah. Let us answer one one question and then you give up. <laughs> no, uh, I already gave up. Why? Oh, you already gave up. Okay, so okay, then you can kill me now, uh, <laughs> and then we are done Walter with that one. Walter can finish you off. Let's see how many rockets he has. Ah, no, it's going to um, be single things. <laughs> the question I wanted to give you: uh, Why was there a, an iron dome in the middle of the Atlantic? I mean, uh, that, they saw it. That's uh, what you have to ask Walter. I mean, that, he plays that. So I don't know. It that's could be kind a of a strategy, you think? Could be. Uh, I mean, hypothetically, I mean, most of my rockets would go uh, through there to. Um, uh, if I would first strike, but I mean, he just miscalculated that I didn't have any rockets left. <laughs> red, okay, red boy, so wait, wait, just wait, 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 wait. Um, I'm gonna open the host once again, let that run. So people who want to join in can join in um, and the lobby is open now. Okay. All right, so uh, red, red boy asked, are there any new rockets? No, at the moment. No. Uh, uh, we say at the moment, we will see how the game develops, how you love it, how many people will play it, and then we will decide what kind of uh, content we add, in which direction we take it. Golden penguins or new rockets? We don't know it, honestly, it's just a pure game. With the modifiers Jeremy uh, showed you uh, before, uh, we are going to upload that video, by the way, on YouTube, then you can rewatch it. Um, and, and Jeremy could also kind of, uh, you want to explain them quickly? Uh, the, the modifiers, you just had them in... Uh, yeah, but I already did. Yeah, you try it uh, just quickly. Um, sure. Um, okay, so uh, like I said, there's three different modifiers um, in the game that you can use uh, when you host a game. You can either uh, have the standard first strike, which is kind of the classic mode that you're having you can have a balanced start modifier, which only gives every superpower one nation and an equal tech tree. Um, so there's uh, more of a balanced game, hopefully, happening. Um, also, every nation that gets hit twice um, will die uh, forever. So that will kind of negate what we had before that, you know, in the end, people can just uh, try to re-expand almost indefinitely. It's really hard to kill people. And uh, there's also like a middle ground uh, modifier which is called small state support. And in that one, everybody has their usual sizes. You know, Russia has the size that Russia has. Sorry. Change it. Why? Another classic? Do they come back, no? Anyway, so there's, there's this called small state support, um, which um, it gives you a bonus if you're a small nation, but only as long as you never had eight nations. So uh, for this uh, lobby, I'm actually going to put the balance start in. Um, there's already five people in. Everybody else who would like to try, come in. Uh, who do we have? We have Walter in again. So I guess, I mean, uh, the previous champion needs to come in again, of course. I mean, hey, good job. Uh, you basically ruled that map, to be honest. Um, we have Mississippi Moo. We have Mr. Major. We have Nuria again, which I'm pretty sure isn't Nuria, so that already makes it uh, way worse. I'm Nuria. <laughs> and uh, the Divine Duck, which I heard is uh, some kind of insider. Don't forget, we're playing small. Uh, we're playing balanced start here, so even if you're selecting a, a large nation, you are not going to have uh, that at the start, and you're also not going to have a bonus on the tech trick. So everybody starts kind of equally. Are you ready to answer another question or do you want to kind of continue where we are and answer questions later? No, I mean, if you, if you have another one, go. Uh, is there any diplomacy in multiplayer? No. So um, we were thinking about how to do diplomacy in multiplayer. And of course, I mean, it's, it's kind of clear how it would need to work. You would need to make proposals to other players, then other players would need to uh, be able to respond to these and say like, yeah, I want to be allied, I don't want to be allied. And we actually had kind of a cool system in mind, but the actual workload for doing that was kind of too big for this update or it would have delayed the whole update for, I don't know, another month uh, easily. So we thought like, no, let's in the first uh, round as the game is, uh, just give you an overview of the other players who are there. And um, if the game is played a ton and the one thing that people would like is diplomacy, I mean, 
We'll see. But Who needs right diplomacy now? if you can nuke your friends? I mean, come on. Um, then we have another question. Uh, oh, Slate196 uh, uh, asked a question. Excellent question, by the way. Uh, I missed diplomacy. Uh, it would help me to win the match, but yeah. Um, in next round, I'm going to play as uh, North Korea, and I think I'm not. I'm not needing uh, uh, diplomacy there. Anyway, um, I don't. I don't. The, 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 the user or the viewer with the name Good Human Gaming. I don't know if this nickname is kind of <laughs> suits to a, to a game where it's new to war. Anyway, oh, ten seconds. Something. Asks. Uh, how would be a hacker counted, or how would be hackers counted? Counter it. Oh, not counted. Sorry, counter it. Uh, you think we tell you here <laughs> in this chat? No, they are. They're going to be get countered, but I don't tell you how. Um, oh, okay. Oh, it's dark here. It's really, really dark. Is the boldest move as North Korea to attack someone immediately, or is the boldest move... I mean, move now everybody's one size. Oh, wait, anyway, I can Oh, I forgot. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Just saying. I actually have a chance to win that game. <laughs> you actually have a chance to win, maybe, if China <laughs> lets you. <laughs> Who's China? Do we have a China? Do we have China? There is no China. The hey, oh, China. I'm China. <laughs> China is mine. I ah, Sorry. Okay. So, uh, another question from the chat, do we want to have a five minute break? No, we don't want to have a five minute break. We want to nuke everybody as long as possible. But it's very thoughtful of you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you. Oh. It was you who asked that. Uh, June, uh, yes. <laughs> I uh, thought that our, our community is so nice. Oh. Um, <laughs> all right. Yeah. I was like, so oh, the wow. beast RB420 asks an uh, excellent question. Is there a global warming mode? I just say not yet. And uh, no current, no concurrent or really, really detailed plans. We talked about that. No is the answer. Maybe later, alligator. Uh... What? Uh, I'm not sure if I, if I understand the next question, honestly. Yeah, I, I mean, it's very hard to end the game without modifiers, that's true. Um, uh, will there be any sanctions? Nope. The only sanction you can do in, in this game uh, um, is to nuke the other ones. <laughs> I mean, that's basically, I also think that... No! Hey! Stop it! I'm talking to the chat, I'm answering questions. You can nuke me during that. It's a kind of a... Okay, it's the way how you sanction me, I see. <laughs> uh, no! Don't kill me! Oh, that's not fair. I need to talk to the Discord server. Um, I just try to entertain everybody. Okay, wait, wait. We don't need Antarctica. We need the Vatican as a super weapon with holy nukes. Nicolor, six, a uh, eighty-six. That's actually an excellent question. We need the Vatican included into the game, and the holy nuke is something I would love, especially the merch of it. The holy nukes of Rome. Uh, the Red Red Boy question, are any new Nyoga Rockets? We already answered no at the moment. The climate uh, warming uh, at global warming mode we already have. Uh, any plans to add the daily events to multiplayer, Jeremy? Who knows? <clears throat> Who knows? You need to concentrate and you really want to win this match. No, huh? no, I'm just playing. Who knows? And you should too. People are watching your uh, screen. They're watching your screen as well. well. I'm, I'm trying to kind of answer uh, <laughs> as much questions as possible. I mean, we're going to have a Q&A uh, afterwards anyway. Uh, what the hell? Why? 
That's not nice. So just remember, this is a very, very balanced uh, um, uh, game now because everybody started exactly with the same um, uh, starting conditions. One thing you have to keep in mind, the world, the world map, the world as it is, is not a fair multiplayer map. So it's still uh, some, there are still some uh, um, advantages and disadvantages for some parts of the region uh, or of the world. As an example, as Australia, I, d I still don't know if it's... Why? Why? But why? I was so peaceful to you, Australia. Mr. Mayor, I was so peaceful. Anyway, uh, you see, uh, he's fighting for his life down there. Uh, down under, he's fighting for his under. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, so it's still not really 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 bad so who are you north korea okay you're not in north korea anymore <laughs> i'm cool you used to be in north korea the the nation formerly known as north korea i would uh, call it i'm the i'm killed in like meanwhile five I was, seconds i was almost backstabbed by russia but i mean there, there is no russia yeah yeah there is russia there is russia there is russia but it only starts in moscow that's why it's so tiny at the beginning so, can you make Ukraine as a country because it had nukes before? Arts not got to 2021. There is, it's host, historically, uh, your answer is historically, no, your question is historically correct. Almost correct. They only had nukes for a few months after the fall of the Soviet Union. Um, I don't know if we will add new countries. Well, well I mean, the thing is, currently, most countries um, that are very close to bigger superpowers just don't have great chances of survival. All right, they already, killed me. You can already see that in um, Iran, for example, who is having a really tough time, Kazakhstan, Israel also, of course. Um, now, the balance start makes it a bit easier. Um, so, actually, now that we have the balancing modifiers, it might be more viable. Then again, Ukraine is really close to Moscow, so uh, there. Whoa! What was? Oh, that was a second hit. Oh. Is it? Is it Walter in South Africa again? Actually, <laughs> yeah, of course it's, it is. It's always Walter <laughs> from always, the south. <laughs> well, I mean, Brazil is also still having a strong position here. I mean. Uh, <laughs> Ah, oh, Nicolo, you wanted too much, like Russia. <laughs> All right, um, uh, why, uh, Hadi Akbar T asked why a game like this has much less fan base. Uh, I mean, uh, what do you mean with much, much less? We have a lot of fans, we have a lot of very cool fans. If you want to meet them, if you want to talk to them, join the Discord server. Hey, uh, we are an indie studio. We are like not even 10 people. Uh, well, we were not even 10 people two years ago. We are now a bit more. We don't have a lot of money uh, to invest into that uh, game. First Act is super old and we are now refreshing the game and trying to rebuild or uh, expand uh, the, the, um, the fan base. Uh, so um, we have a lot of cool fans, honestly. Uh, um, um. It's actually insane. I mean, the, the love that this really old game gets and how much you uh, guys still enjoy it is in, is really really cool. I can share share a number with you. Uh, every day around the world, seven to fifteen thousand people play this game. So for us, that's amazing. It's really really gigantic. It's huge. We really hope you like the multiplayer, and uh, I mean the fan base will explode. But well, we don't know. We will see. I, I like the game, and I have a lot of fun playing it. I hope uh, you will have it too uh, with your friends. Um, I am going to answer the question from Haley Cop. Uh, are you to going to add point 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 systems which su switch off all nukes of a country? So you meaning like having an infiltrator or or something like a special function where you can kind of delete all the weapons or kind of delete the weapons of an opponent? What do you think about that question, Jeremy? Well, I mean, we once tried to create a super weapon around that concept. So if you're looking at the silo burner, which is Australia's super weapon, um, I mean, fun fact, Australia never really had a nuclear arms program and was one of the most vocal nations to not have one. 
Um, so uh, we wanted to give them a super weapon that actually does more damage the more uh, nukes are in a country where it hits. Um, I still find that a really fascinating concept in a war game. So uh, because right now there's not much that's punishing you for just building up as many nukes as you can. So, hey, I'm all for it. I think it's an interesting gameplay idea to build something around. So the answer is maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah, I mean, the answer is always in what we're, if you're asking like, what are the next features gonna be, maybe. That's kind of the thing like, that we're trying to say, we are not yet decided what's gonna happen with this game. And it all depends on what you will make out of it. So will it be played? Will people love it? Will they use it? Um, that's gonna decide what we're gonna do with it. All right, um, so... Uh... Whoa, sorry, I just got game is still going on. Um, <laughs> Who is Australia? Let me... Uh, or, or. I, are we, Mr. I, Mayor tried to be sneaky, but I guess Walter didn't let him. So currently we have Mississippi Moo, Walter and Mr. Mayor still in the race. I mean, I'm technically here, but I think Walter is more defending me. So yeah. we still have a stream. You really so need to... Uh, <laughs> thanks a lot. But uh, really no, I mean, I, I, I mean I look at this. Look at Brazil. <laughs> Who's Brazil? Uh, who is Brazil? Um, Mississippi Moo is Brazil. Right, I mean, okay. And Mississippi Moo, uh, um, just kill, don't kill, please don't kill um, uh, 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 Jeremy because we are going to lose sight uh, what? in this, in this <laughs> stream. Uh, but what? maybe kill Walter. <laughs> Ooh, that's a. Uh... All right, so Jeremy is now in the spectator uh, uh, role. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, but. Uh, what? No counter strike? I was expecting a counter first strike to that. Hmm. hmm. So, actually, Jayhawk25 wants to know if we were inspired by DEF CON. Uh, do you want to answer that question or should sure. I try? No, I mean, DEF, Def CON is a real cool game. Uh, I'm a big fan of what they did at Introversion with Desk, DEF CON. I am terrible at DEF CON. Uh, DEF CON. And I would actually always wanted it to be a bit more um, action packed to a certain degree. So you could say like uh, where DEF CON is like the game that tries to have um, the most deliberate feeling of how it would feel to be in a bunker and suddenly the world explodes. We are more the fast paced simulation where you can try all mm. different outcomes of nuclear war, but you can try again, 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 as fast as you would like. Um, and we are actually on Steam, we are in a bundle together, which made me really proud. So there's like this Cold War, nu uh, nuclear war bundle on Steam where you can get DEF CON and uh, First Strike for a reduced price. So, Whoa! Oh uh, my thank god. Thank you very much for the water. Uh, oh, a lot of talking. Uh, Jeremy, you want one as well? Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, watching Australia <laughs> getting annihilated and f actually First Striking back. Oh Cheers. my god, this is wonderful. Cheers, man. Your mouth gets really dry when you survive nuclear war. Anyway, um, so we have so many questions. Uh, let me try to answer some. Salamander2204. You, we already answered that question. We will answer it uh, many times. No, it's not coming to Classic. Classic is going to stay how it is. It's only coming to the free version. Um, uh, um, uh, and that's going to be like that. We are not going to work anymore on the Classic version. We are freezing in the games. Like it was, uh, like it was the original version, and that's it. Um, um, uh, is there anything? The same user asked a little bit later. Is there anything you can kind of remove the free ads in there? Um, no. At the moment, um, there is no, uh, no, no, uh, and no anything to pay for from your side. So there is no, uh, um, no way to remove the ads. And as as you saw. There is uh, also uh, no ads in the uh, multiplayer uh, uh, feature, so you won't see any uh, ads if you watch, uh, if you play multiplayer at the moment. Do it, Jeremy. Have your revenge with Walter. No, Walter, uh, has, actually, Walter has given up, as I see it. Now I'm, I'm totally boned. <laughs> this is a, there's a, <laughs> 
tech that goes everything. All right, okay. so, so we have already a trainer for you, Jeremy, uh, the Beast RB420. It really analyzes your gameplay style and he has some suggestions for you to improve. So one will be build more cruise missiles. <laughs> Uh, because uh, he is analyzing this kind of that you really, uh, really already suffer from real anxi anxiety um, uh, about uh, yeah, that, and I think he's true. I mean, uh, don't uh, analyze my game. Here, <laughs> here I we still, go. I still All have right, something. Uh, I missed something. Uh, I really want to end this stream. Huh? Um, anyway, cool. Um, I mean, I might as well give up at this point. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe London still belongs Dragon to the Ido Dino. I'm asking though. another question. <laughs> hey, I think GG guys. GG. Awesome game. Awesome. Um, excellent. Very, very cool. Uh, so, that is one question that we, we can uh, add right away. Is there any chance to cities and regions? Sorry, what is a citizen region? Cities or regions. I mean, we don't have regions, by the way. Uh, but cities, is there any chance to cities? No. I mean, we have cities. Yes. They is just there die. Any, is there any chance? A change. 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 Okay, sorry, yeah, no, sorry, no, sorry. no, easy. Uh, no, we didn't change anything about the cities uh, or the regions. Uh, like I said, I mean, the, the new modifiers actually change things quite a bit. I don't know if you noticed in the, lo in the last game that we just played, um, but Russia really starts puny, tiny and small if you're putting like the balance modifier in. It just sits next to, to <laughs> Western Europe like, oops, I, I don't have anything. Um, so that is already kind of a, a big change, you know, in how it feels to play uh, First Strike. I also feel like the change of uh, permanent destruction in the game is kind of crazy. And I'm actually looking forward to hear from all of you how you think uh, or how you feel uh, this feels like um, but the core game especially in the classic mode it really is just first strike and by just I mean uh, as, as uh, an elitist game designer I always wanted to tell people this is not fun you guys don't want to play this because it's imbalanced it has a terrible tech tree uh, it's always gonna be the big nations who win and you can now prove us wrong by playing really the imbalanced first strike version. And I'm actually excited to see uh, how this will go because um, I always felt like this can't be fun, but um, the playtest already kind of shown otherwise. This might be cool. Yes, thank you. Um, so there is another question and then I think we are going to do another round. What do you think? Are you know. ready? Yeah, I think we can do a last one afterwards. All right, cool. So one question is, uh, is there a plan um, uh, for a spectator mode or what happens when you give up? At the moment, we, um, um, thank you for the question, a Tomb Bomb uh, 6580. We um, um, already answered the question, we are doing happily again. Um, we run out of time and during the level development sprint and we really wanted to ship the game as fast as possible. So we skipped that one, uh, but it's definitely on our list. We yeah, don't know. I would actually say it's if if you know no matter how it it will work out, it's pretty high also on the developers' wish list. That yeah. thing is something that we'd like Thank really you. to do. Um, so who knows? I mean, uh, maybe we'll have some time or some possibility to ship that one in the future. I think it would be cool to actually be able to spectate a bit more after uh, the end. We have uh, a very. Uh, cool feature list uh, on, on our tool and a lot of <laughs> we other always ideas. have <laughs> we always have and we will see it's, it's we will game it off, listen this actually this this is kind of a pet peeve that always drives me insane by the way new lobby is open for everybody who wants to join oh, in yeah, for the last yeah. game new lobby Get in now. No um, nuclear lobby but i just want to say this so uh, Every time I, I read something on Reddit, like, oh, this should have been in there, and why didn't the devs think of that, and why didn't the devs do that? So people have no idea how big our own bucket list is of stuff that we wanted to do, but in the end, we couldn't. In every game we do, like, we had, like, plans and dreams and ambitions and stuff that would have been so awesome if we could have done it, but uh, then uh, we couldn't. That's just life, but hey, I mean, cool thing is, especially with a game like this, who knows, uh, we can still add stuff later on, maybe. 
Yeah, we're already. Are we doing classic mode again, or are we? Uh, no, actually, we could do small uh, state support as a finish uh, because it has the bonus that um, and, uh, stuff also dies after two hits. So uh, that's gonna balance things out also. All right. Um, show. Uh... Not June asks a question. Can we show you the stuff in the back? Uh, yeah, that's an excellent question. Uh, I will do it if I'm not that good in the game. I will remember that. Happily, I'm going to uh, do that. Um, what do you mean if I'm not that good in the game? Why if? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> guys, <laughs> shut up. You're not in the stream. Um. Three more minutes. Anybody Three more minutes. Any more other questions? Uh, anybody who would like to join in? 740622. So, Art Stocker 2021 asks if we can add submarines and missile launchers. Um, I'm tempted to say just no. Uh, we don't know yet. There are at the moment no plans for submarines. Maybe later. Then Haley Cop asked, will you add a spy that steals technology from another country? The answer is... It's good idea. question. <laughs> it's a very interesting idea. Especially if you could also give them your crappy tech in return. So kind of something that switches the tech trees. Um, but then again, it would need to be a super weapon. And if it's a super weapon, you need to have a full tech tree. So you wouldn't have a, any bonus for it. Eh. Yeah, but the idea is nice. So um, the operator is asking if we want to make a short break, a uh, bathroom break, because people from Discord server are needing uh, uh, to take a break. Uh, shall we do a quick break? Sure, we can. A three minute break? Sure. Okay, then let's do a three minute break and start the game. So then we're I'm going to cancel this lobby for yes, now. And we're doing it afterwards. Okay. So let's do a quick break and then we come back from Blind Flux Studios 2 uh, in Zurich uh, with nuclear war for everybody. Uh, First Strike multiplayer is coming to mobile on the 3rd of November. That's actually in two weeks and two days. Thank you for watching. See you later. It's very annoying if you talk to us because oh, I lose sorry. control. Uh, sorry.
All right, welcome back to Nuclear War. Um, first Strike goes multiplayer and we are here to show you the first gameplay and we are playing, uh, I guess, the last round for tonight. Uh, or at least the last big one. So, the last um, big one, excellent. If, you, yeah, if you want to turn in for the stream, uh, I'm gonna host the lobby in a second. Uh, get ready to try to join in now and let's see how um, we can fill this up. And Here we go. It is. Oh yes. And, and if you ask yourself how in. can you join, you need to join our Discord server uh, where our community uh, uh, comes together. And there uh, we picked some players uh, to join us here who uh, had the chance to play test that game during development with us here. And uh, yes, that's where our community organizes. We have a, a link in the description, and the link is on our website, firststrike.mobile. And uh, yeah, you're really, really welcome to join us there. So the lobby is up uh, another 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Um, the lobby code is 522. 329 and we already have seven people in so uh, this is gonna be a full one are we going to play with modifiers I missed that part yeah we're gonna go uh, small state no we did we do small state support last time no we couldn't we didn't do yet so now we're gonna do it so again small state support uh, means that you're gonna have a bonus if you're small so research and expansion is gonna be mighty fast but the more you expand uh, the more it goes towards normal. Very cool modification. Um, uh, Jeremy, what are you doing there? What do you mean? I see your screen and you're kind of selecting. You're going as United States, you really want no, to No, I win. didn't do anything. What are you talking uh, about? No, I'm going as USA, that's cool. I snatched the USA. Yes, now I'm ready. All right. Um, I try to ask uh, another question. Mississippi Moo going with Brazil again, so that's a favorite. Mr. Mayor in Australia. Walter is North Korea, is Iran. Ah, it's still choosing. The Divine Duck in South Africa this time took uh, Walter's spot, so I guess that's the reason why Walter oh, needs to re uh, I missed this something uh, important, Jeremy, before. Sorry, I need to tell you. Ultra Comfy said, He's joining Nicolo's protest movement in bringing back the keyboard support. Yes, I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't care. You two are alone yeah. in a in on alone thing. Uh, remember last time we uh, there was a discussion on the Discord, and like the only two thumbs up for keyboard were you two. Yes, that's yes. how it goes. The rest. You, you will... have to kind of win against him and me because I'm really against uh, uh, keyboard support because keyboards and smartphones is like. Anyway, um, and here we go. We are start. Oh, whoa, whoa, we're starting. Um, uh, finally, I play. Uh, so let's uh, kind of spice this round up and shoot some rockets. I mean, I'm I'm Dirty Joe, and I start right away. Getting this game hot, Jack. Bang! All right. Dum, 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 dum. Making the getting this game hot is a bit, um, how should I say, stupid. I don't know. It's your words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my English. You know, I I never had uh, time to really train my English proper, so my English is not that good. <laughs> uh oh. So, um, what's the lineup now? We have China, we have South Africa, we have Brazil, we have Western Europe, United States, Israel and Australia in the mix this time. Oh. I'm surprised. I, I shoot some rockets at China and nothing came back. So, well, it kind of shows you don't uh, play a lot of first strike. Why does nothing come back? <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> you, you know? Yeah, because a lot is coming back at once! <laughs> no, because China doesn't have any capabilities for long-range missiles in the beginning of the game. Ah, oh, then, can I, ah, then I can missile. shoot more rockets at China without getting attacked. 
Oh, I learned something. This is very educative for you me. Need Thank to you. Watch the tech tree, my friend. Yeah, I never had time to read the the tech tree. No, the updated tech tree. Sorry, China. I love you, but we had an open. Um... Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I don't. Sh I almost shot shot in my. Shot my capital <laughs> myself. I mean, that would be embarrassing um, to do that on the stream during the announcement Boy, stream. Not in Africa, I mean, the war is already raging on. Oh, yeah? That is uh, some massive stuff going on there. What are they doing there? Sharing nuclear love or. Oh, yeah, I see. Whoa. Holy cow. Wow, Europe is really mad at Africa. <laughs> For some reason, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. Anyway, um, um, yep, up, up, up. I was thinking of showing more love to China. <laughs> it's just a single love letter. I don't think anybody appreciates your love in China. I'm afraid that's the same and I'm afraid they're absolutely right because I'm not kind of doing it very successfully, honestly. here. Australia is going off to Brazil. So tell me, remind me again, so when I shoot the country here, can I rediscover, conquer it with the modifier or not? Yes you can, but just once and afterwards it's going to be uh, gone permanently. Okay, excellent. Oh, um. No, 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 no. Ah. Western Europe was apparently also mad at North America. So the USSA well, you know, got a rocket in the ass. My capital is gone. No oh, super weapons no super anymore. Weapons I wanted to you. build a super weapon. I had absolutely no chance to do it. I guess they watched the stream, actually. You think they are stream yes, sniping? They're stream mm. sniping. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. Uh, somebody already so, has the efficiency tech. Yes, on. Wow! Stream sniping and kind of killing. Uh... Oops. Yeah, come on. Mm. Ooh, Brazil as well. Ay, ay, ay. It, it's tough for, for the US, huh? Mm. No friends. <laughs> no friends. What? All of these crews. The land of the free with no friends. Oh, how comes? I love the USA. All right. Mm. So, China, how do you feel after getting backstabbed by me and uh, are you winning this time? Oh yeah, you are actually. It's, I mean, it's just that it, hey, it, it's kind of on, like real Discord. world politics, it's not really uh, that relevant. I need to show you something. This is Jeremy. Jeremy is now big. Jeremy has now a lot of technology. This is Moritz. Moritz is now slow, slowly dying. Moritz has not a lot of technology. Actually, I'll show you how much technology I have. Nothing. I mean, I wanted to kind of get the super weapon. Yes, okay. Jeremy is now punishing Moritz. Okay, 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 I get it. <laughs> so why okay. not shoot at him? I mean, they're gonna shoot at me. Uh... Why not shoot at him here? Please. Please. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, is uh... this going for you? Where, where's this going? 
I'm Not kind of uh, Central America. <laughs> he he's really 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 good at that game. But I mean, there is some parallel to be said, like uh, US being very, very mad at China and not really doing much. But you mean to wor real world politics? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, and then Australia comes from the back. First track to deck. It's always is, Australia. It's, it's always, always Australia. Australia. Really, exactly. You don't see Australia because it's so tiny and purple and uh, then suddenly you're getting first strike like crazy. Sorry for being a bit tired. It's already 9, almost 9 p.m. here in Switzerland. And I'm a bit tired. My little boy didn't let me sleep this night and uh, we were all a bit shaky on the way. All right, there are some threats now in the chat regarding you not bringing back keyboard and then getting nuked all the time if someone sees you in, on public servers. Well, I'm not going to say who was that, but I don't approve <laughs> I don't that. Care. I will <laughs> personally protect you all the time. Because no keyboards. Jayhawk25 feels like there should be skins. Why not? Yeah. Skins, skins feel... for rockets is an excellent idea. I like that. I feel there should be skins. And Artsoka2021 is asking for the 9060 mode. Oh, I like that. Are you a history nerd, Artsoka? Because I am a history nerd. And, well, JFK didn't make it to the picture wall yet. Fidel Castro didn't make it to the picture wall yet. Um, Khrushchev didn't make it to the picture wall yet. But why not? Ah, this, is, this, is, this is getting intense, by the way. There's just oh. a series of backstabs in all directions going. So I feel like within the next minutes, we're going to see um, who's going to divide the earth how. The penguins are going to win? Yeah, the penguins never. Well, I guess the penguins win. <laughs> Here comes Europe. So, look at that. Is that Brazil? Or is who is that? I don't have tactical highlighting unlocked right now. I wish I had. Um, it's pretty hard to see. But uh, I told you, uh, Australia is backstabbing me again because nobody took care of Australia. It's always the same. Nobody. That's actually true, huh? Yes, it's true. Nobody did they already research super weapon? I don't think anybody had the time to research a super weapon. No, South uh, Africa just researched the uh, Tsar. Oh, nice. But the Tsar is going to take way too long for them to build. They don't going to be so, um, yeah. Or is the Tsar going to come out? I'm I'm it's actually I hope I want to see a Tsar in a game. Come on, let let, let uh, South Africa build the Tsar. I would love to no. see that. <laughs> Nope. Everybody's shooting South Africa right now. So you just said like South I'm Africa's very building sorry, it's behind the us. I'm very sorry. Oh, yeah, I, I should not. I mean, Ooh, I was kind of. Oh, South Africa has given up. Yes. <laughs> oh, That's so it. That's a tragic ending of South Africa in this last round of first strike today. So who's still in it? Let's look at it. Well, there's still, actually a surprising lot of people in it. Australia is still in it. The United States are still in it? What? Where are you? <laughs> you are sitting somewhere on, on, with, with like one... Ah, there so you are. I need to write something in the chat. Um... <laughs> yes, yes. You can write adios in the chat. <laughs> That's what you can write. <laughs> I'm going to be adios, yes. <laughs> Making my life difficult in the beginning. <laughs> I 
I honestly lost a little bit the track on which uh, questions we answered and which one not. I'm really sorry. So that's why I'm a bit confused. Um, we have 20 minutes left, a little bit less than 20 minutes left until we are kind of going to finish that chat. Jeremy, are you able to win that round? Until I then? don't think I'm going to win that round. So first. who's going to win that round? Oh, they want to, they kill the round by just deleting me, killing me. No, no. Now I'm almost gone. But oh, you're still in it? Yes. You're <laughs> oh, done. You're still alive. Yeah, I have a little trick. Oh, I need tactical highlighting. This drives me nuts. <laughs> Are you killing me slowly? Yes, I am. I'm um, still trying to figure out that. No, I mean, Australia is looking pretty healthy. Oh, South Africa only. Uh, South Africa left. So, what do we still have? We yeah, still have I, I kind of, in I, it. Kind, I'm, I kind of uh, fucked South Africa because I told the server that um, they developed uh, the Tsar bomb. And that I guess is, nobody saw the message actually. That is uh, what happens in when the you play, play on stream. Is that, a, is that a Brazilian country up here? Well, or was it one? How did Brazil get there? Through Europe? Migration. Yeah, I guess. What it's the natural is. migration in first track. It's getting, you see, the, I, love, I really love this game mode. You see why. It's really getting, uh, Australia is getting finished. Uh, it's a matter of, of uh, minutes now um, until Australia is gone. And then I guess we will you have a winner. It's a matter of minutes until Australia wins. What? Come on. Australia is going to win this. Uh, she, I, oh, I'm sorry, Brazil. Sorry, yeah, oh, Brazil. my 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 command. But Brazil really still bad. has some stuff. Brazil has still still has some stuff somewhere. There's still. Uh, are you still in it somewhere? Me? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm showing. Uh, uh, you're showing. Um, showing actually. It. Where I'm, I'm is showing. Moritz? Let's get the tactical highlighting on. I'm going. Uh, no, that is. I don't tell you. Where are you? Do you have something left? Ah, there you are. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's the Falkland Islands. It's always the Falkland Islands. It's not the Falkland Islands. Are these the Falkland? What is, are these? Um, the... I don't tell you because maybe you don't know. I mean, uh, whatever. Buy. <laughs> what buy? Not buy. Do you still have a defense rocket? <laughs> oh no! What's going to happen? It's so tragic. Oh my god, he defended. Don't kill me. <laughs> it's my last... I can't, I can't comment that game then. Ah. Well, All I mean, right. I told you Australia... Oh, actually, if I would have been smarter, um, Australia might have lost, I guess. I lost. All right, Jeremy, you killed me again. With pleasure. With so. pleasure. Oh, really? With pleasure. I dare, how dare you? So, who's still in it? Um, we still have Brazil somewhere. Australia, of course, is still doing well. Um, Australia is really, really winning this round. Huh? So, uh, sh can you please show up the username again? Yes, just give me a who second. Who plays Australia? Uh, Australia, it was Mr. Mayor who did really well. Very, and Mississippi well. Moo is, I guess, still hanging on there, but for how much? Hmm? It's gonna be tough. I mean, actually, there might be New Zealand, and it's not that much, to be honest. It's free. Ah, no, there's some stuff in the Middle East here. Hey, by the way, don't forget to follow uh, us on Twitch uh, to get uh, a notification when we stream the next time. Just saying. That's going to be a tight one. I can't reach that, or can I? Rip Jeremy, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I probably, Almost. but but I'm still making uh, Australia's life miserable. So that's something. <laughs> I think New Zealand just fell, so Oh no, it's not enough. <laughs> no, I also still. Uh, how am I still alive? <laughs> oh, there's an ICBM coming. So, are you going to be able to defend that? No, that one is probably going for me. So I'm going here. 
Oh, there's a first strike. There's one last first strike out of Brazil. Is that it? Is, is that, that it? it? That is it for me. All we, right, will, so we lose the end. <laughs> will we see what the end is going to be? Well, I mean, we can spectate a bit here at the end screen. That's at least something. No, okay. So, um, yeah. That's that, it. That, a very cool match. That was a good match at the end. Uh, thanks, everybody, for playing with us. I mean, that was awesome. Um, any sorry for backstabbing. Can... Yeah, yeah, a lot. Uh, sorry for backstabbing you right you away. <laughs> you are so I not. I tried. Just a little bit. Hey, if you, if you ever played Risk against this dude, uh, no, you're, you're going to know that. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm way better in a Risk than on First Strike. Anyway. Yeah, only because people believe me. Yes, believe yes, people believe me. So um, let's go through the last uh, questions that we didn't answer and uh, we have a lot of them. Um, so UltraConf is asking a question for you, Jeremy, which mm -hmm. is kind of, uh, quite a good one. Uh, are we going to have a replacement for the dirty radium? It looks like it's going to be kind of pointless to use that now, you know? Mm. It's true. I mean, it's, uh, it definitely isn't worth as much with the balancing modifiers. That being said, I mean, you can still play the classic mode and then it's as powerful as ever. But yeah, no, I mean, I agree. Uh, why would you play um, the, the, the balancing modifiers with the dirty radium? Seems kind of pointless. I'm actually kind of interested generally, you know, what's going to happen with all the super weapons because I have no clue what's actually powerful. The Kali Storm could actually be great, to be honest. Cool, thank you. Uh, Groovemeister is asking, uh, we have so many stories behind all, uh, almost every aspect of First Strike. What's the story behind giving up, uh, which is kind of an excellent question. Uh, basically, giving up in nuclear war means everybody is deaf. Uh, uh, um, uh, I don't know, uh, what do you think to, for that question? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I kind of lost like what, what you mean mm. with that question. I mean, yeah. it's very sad. Uh, I mean, we, we should also say um, we're making a lot of uh, fun out of nuclear war, and nuclear war is kind of horrifying. I guess all of you know why we did first strike. We were afraid of nuclear war. Actually, we wanted to do something meaningful, showing how stupid humankind is to have this weapon. It's really kind of uh, brain fucked and. Uh, so, I don't know, I need to think about that question. It's a very good question. What's the, what's the story behind giving up? I don't know, maybe uh, there is a path or some game mechanic where there is a secret, uh, peaceful ending uh, in a multiplayer mode if you give up. So, Groovemeister, we are sorry, or we can't really answer that question. Um, so, any plans to add the daily events to the multiplayer? As I said, um, currently we're not promising anything. Um, it would technically be possible. Will it be the thing to do? I'm not sure yet. Um, as it could also be that we're just splitting the, um, the, the whole modifiers for single player, modifiers for multiplayer thing, and we're gonna keep it at the track. Hey, but uh, let's have a look how they're used. Yeah, Mr. Aurora. 1207 uh, asked that question. Thank you. Um, I, I, I hope you love the modifiers for First Strike. Uh, guys, who's all, if you only play the classic version, uh, it's really time to switch to the First Strike uh, free version and just it's named just First Strike because there you have the modifiers also for single player. And we have nine or ten, I forgot, sorry. 10 modifiers at the moment, I guess. I'm also not sure, but it's a bunch. It's a bunch. You it's can a bunch. You can play daily challenges to unlock these. Uh, once you're unlocked, you can play them with any nation. So they're really cool. And we try to come up with some really creative ways in the team, you know, how First Strike could be more fun. So all the questions around diplomacy, we already answered. Uh, we are sorry, guys, we had to cut it out. We, don't, we have a lot of ideas for that feature, uh, but we couldn't do it in that version. So maybe it's coming in the future. We don't know. Um, a lot of people of you ask that. Uh, will China receive this update? And will there be a Chinese translation? Excellent question. Um, the sad answer is not really. Um, so we can't publish First Strike at the moment in, in China because we don't have a license and we, we, we kind of don't do it. 
Um, we have a lot of fans there, somehow we don't know how they do it, but a lot of people download it and play it there. Um, on a, obviously we didn't test it if it runs or not. Uh, we, we don't do any specific, but we translated it to Chinese. Uh, uh, so because there are a lot of people outside of China who really, really love uh, our game and play it in the Chinese language. We know that from statistics and from analytics, that's why we do it. Um, will you guys add Canada? I love Canada, it's my favorite country in the world. I'm, I even have a tattoo made in Canada, but the answer is no. <laughs> I mean, it's too close to the US. It we will not survive any nuclear war with the US, so um, there is no point of adding I mean, Canada. I, I would probably rather, um, just from a gameplay perspective, I would probably before doing Canada to like Mexico or do something in Central America because it is true that Brazil and uh, the USA are just really alone in the Americas and could use somebody else to bump them from time to time. Uh, you'll see. <laughs> All right. Um, don't forget to join our Discord server. Um, it's in, the link is in the description. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to our Twitch account. There are more questions and we will answer them until 9, don't worry. Um, you should have Nazi Germany as a superpower. Jayhawk25, my friend, we are not a historic game. <laughs> Luckily, yes, there is no Nazi uh, Germany anymore. It's freed uh, and all the Nazis are killed, which is Excellent, though there is no Nazi Germany and there will be never a Nazi Germany because we don't include that in the game. Giving up, the, the Beast RB420 asking, giving up should be basically giving up a territory to an enemy country. I mean, ah, you mean if you give up and uh, the country is not nuked, it should go to the other. I mean, cu currently it That's is a good idea. G giving up just frees them. Um, so you can basically re-expand into them and get them at full health, which is pretty nice. Um, so you're probably doing your neighbors a favor if you're giving up in multiplayer. All right. Um, uh, direct back to 28 has a very important question. Uh, 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 we answered it partially. Any plans for new countries in the game, like potentially nuclear powers, like, like, yeah. Are there any left? Who do we still have left that would have nukes on the, on the global scale? So Syria, the dictator Assad tried to get nukes. Uh, wow, another and one. Then there, I, mean, <laughs> oh. I mean, the backstory of that for all people who are interested in politics is that Pakistani black uh, arms uh, dealers are selling the technology or plans mm. and ideas. The Khan network was in the news. I don't know what's the uh, I don't know what's the state of the Khan network, but um, I think the um, all the superpowers have the common interest that there are no new new uh, superpowers. Um, uh, even for China uh, on a strategic le global level, it's not very cool that North Korea has uh, nukes. Uh, uh, um, so. Um, like potential nuclear powers, we don't know. I have a question for you. Can we please include Switzerland as a nuclear power? Too super. Small. You know it's too small. It's I mean, tiny with the it's, it's the same like with the Vatican. I mean, the, the, the problem is it's already kind of hard to touch Israel. Uh, it's going to be impossible to touch Switzerland. You would have to zoom in way more. Anyway. What else do we have? Which brings me to an excellent question, Jeremy. I don't think Israel and Israel and Switzerland have almost the same size. Hmm. No, no uh, don't worry. Uh, yeah, so no uh, small countries uh, DLC like Switzerland, Fortincon, and Monaco in one uh, download package. No, very sad. So thank you very much, um, stream. Uh, so. Uh, we don't know um, if there is, is dear, dear moderators, is there any question we should answer left? I mean, I, I don't want to go into the deep discussion regarding features and feature changes because it's just too hard to do, honestly, uh, on, a, on a live chat or on a live stream now. Um, someone asked me again, 
what it was is on the back it's our lovely nuclear ball we're gonna fill that up with merch and stuff and so on it's going to grow during the next uh, few streams um, uh, this is kind of we are going to add more pictures and we have lovely 3d prints uh, from our um, build master Nicola lovely custom-made rockets from Star commanders we have my favorite picture of Harry S Truman the only president only commander-in-chief who ever dropped Two nuclear bombs um, nobody knows why he did it uh, oh that's a big historical fight I don't should go into that but that's Harry S Truman in my first uh, the, 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 the text on the t-shirt says coach Truman athletic <laughs> very athletic yes oops and um, I guess that's it we are finally closing that stream thank you very much for joining us yeah, so th I have to few. Thanks a bunch, everybody. Um, uh, thanks for actually being here at kind of a historic event, to be honest, because um, like we said in the preview video, we are aware that multiplayer has been the um, easily the most requested feature since the beginning of First Strike. And I personally also want to thank really the team at Blimfluke Studios that we finally were able to make this a reality. And I hope you all are gonna have a blast uh, by trying it out, by giving us your feedback, what you think of it, and by helping us shape it even further in the future. Um, you're absolutely amazing. Uh, and it blows us away that for all the love you're still giving to this game. And we're incre I'm incredibly excited to see uh, what's going to happen once this launches? I can only 125% uh, agree, Jeremy, on what he just said. I have a few closing remarks. So first of all, please don't forget to follow us here on Twitch if you didn't, if you don't do it already. Don't forget to join the Discord. We will have a lot of new stuff there, and we it's the way where you can find. Uh, other good players to play against as soon as the game is online. Don't forget to download the first track free version to kind of be ready on the 3rd of November when the update comes. And I would like a special thank you uh, for Nuria, to jo Yun, to Nicola, to Joanna for kind of mar making this marketing campaign or starting this marketing this com campaign, showing you all the stuff. And I would also like the whole team of Blindflug for the last, I would say almost now 12 months of very hard work of reinventing and rediscovering and I mean reprogramming uh, First Strike. You have to imagine we worked, yeah, we made a game seven years ago and then we made it again, <laughs> which is actually not that super fun. And so I'm very, very thankful that we were able to um, make it to that point. And that's absolutely, as Jeremy said, amazing uh, accomplishment together. Sorry. And uh, we are really, 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 really thankful for that. And it's super cool. And guys, uh, here on the stream, I can't wait that, to see how you uh, play that and how you love that. It's going to be amazing. Uh, we, we are very confident that it's going to run very smoothly, very stable. We tested it a lot. Uh, I mean, we are a small team, uh, but yeah. And one thing, it's way more fun than we thought. We were a bit skeptical a year ago. Uh, first track on that map, as I as we said during that stream, is really working. But it's cool, it's rocking, and yeah, we can't wait uh, to let it, you try it out. So don't forget to follow us here on Twitch. Don't forget to join our Discord. Thank you very much. Um, see you very, very soon uh, um, here on that Twitch channel. Bye-bye from Zurich. Bye, everybody. <laughs>